All right, so 545 and it's Friday and that means it's time for weekends at the Connecticut Science Center. Channel 3's Mark Dixon explores the butterfly encounter. It is finally Friday. That means, of course, we're here at the Science Center with Sean and we are back in the butterfly encounter. This has been closed for months. It has. Uh, so since we closed uh, during COVID in March, uh, the butterfly encounter closed and hasn't reopened until now. But it, ha it has been maintained. It has I mean, been maintained. So our, our green team has been on it. They've been in here every day making sure our plants are thriving and ready for the next batch of butterflies. And I'm excited to say that that batch of butterflies is here in the room with us and it, it looks great. And the button quail are also here kind of moving around. The button quail have been actually here consistently. They never left. They've yeah. been here and they're moving around. Oh, and a little a vocal this morning. Hopefully we can hear them as we're <laughs> yes. recording. But um, we also have a special guest visitor. We do. So something. we're proud to introduce yes. for the first time in the butterfly encounter, the Atlas moth. It is one of the largest moths in the world. And we have one right here in our butterfly encounter. So. That alone is worth the extra add-on ticket to come and see it. All right, so it is an additional cost to come to the Butterfly Encounter, but we should also point out that there's a special happening this holiday weekend. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, you're open 10 to 5. We are, and it's everybody pays kids' price. Okay. So Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, everybody pays kids' price, which is sixteen ninety-five. Okay. Get those tickets online, and then you can add on the Butterfly Encounter for just $5 more per person. Awesome. Such a cool spot. Yeah. All right, Sean, thank you so much. And we, of course, hope you make the Science Center a destination of yours this weekend.